Cetardiodactyla are even-toed ungulates. This order also includes whales, or cetaceans, which are believed to have evolved from even-toed ungulates. Members of the order Cetardiodactyla are hoofed animals, and ones that bear weight equally on two of the five toes, specifically their third and fourth ones. The other three toes can either be present, absent, vestigial, or pointing backwards. The teeth morphology of the Cetardiodactyla order are ones of herbivores. They often have very reduced incisors, which are completely absent from the upper jaw. They use this morphology for clipping and tearing vegetation by pressing the lower incisors against the hard upper palate to clip vegetation cleanly. Members of this order are missing or have reduced canines. If present, they are small and will look more similar to incisors and will be followed by a diastema. Herbivores such as these need to chew their food repeatedly as many plants are hard to digest, so they have several pairs of selenodont molars to grind, releasing bacterial enzymes to be able to digest the cellulose present. The molars are ridged, so jaws can move sideways laterally, sliding over each other. The two families of this order are bovidae and cervidae. Bovidae, or bovids, have horns, which are bone core that is covered in a permanent sheath of keratin. Examples are bison, bighorn sheep, doll sheep, and mountain goats. Cervidae, or cervids, have antlers, which are porous, fast-growing bony tissue that is shed and replaced annually. They grow from a permanent outgrowth of frontal bone. Examples are moose, elk, caribou, and deer. Thank <laughs> you.